1986, Tom Cruise shot to stardom in the huge blockbuster film Top Gun. And now almost 35 years later, 36 years to be exact, he's back with the long-awaited sequel, Top Gun Maverick. This movie was supposed to be released in 2020, but due to the theater shutting down during the pandemic, Tom Cruise fought hard to keep it off the streaming services because he truly believed that this movie should be a theatrical experience. And let me tell you, he was right. Top Gun Maverick centers around Tom Cruise's character, Captain Pete Maverick Mitchell, preparing the US Navy's best young fighter pilots for a nearly impossible mission. And this was my most anticipated film of the year. Yes, ahead of Matt Reeves' The Batman. Primarily because I needed a change in my action movies. I needed a different type of action film which didn't contain the usual hand-to-hand -hand combat, car chases, and superheroes. Man, am I getting superhero fatigue? Anyways, the action in this movie is amazing. Tom Cruise and his production team take pride in their action scenes and you can tell right from the opening scene. Each scene is well thought out, filmed and edited in a way to make the audience feel as if they're right there in the jet's cockpit. Tom Cruise ensured that the actors went through extensive training in the air with the US Navy pilots to get them comfortable in the cockpit. That means the actors actually had to prepare their bodies mentally and physically to fly in a fighter jet pulling up to 8 G's of force. That is the equivalent of 600 pounds. So the acting you see from the actors in the jets is actually genuine. Some actors even threw up in some of the scenes but continued to film. Now that's dedication. Aside from having to pay the US Navy $11,000 per hour to use their fighter jets, some of the action sequences could only be shot once as the shock wave from the jets would blow the entire set away. Now this type of dedication for practical effects is what makes this movie's action sequences so epic. So going into this movie, my only concern was that they would make the aerial combat scenes confusing and hard to follow, like the first movie, because that could have quickly disengaged the audience from the movie. But fortunately, the editing is done in a way that the audience is able to understand exactly what is happening during the intense flight sequences. As usual, Tom Cruise delivers a great performance and I appreciated that he played a role as per his age. He was playing a mentoring type of role and wasn't romanticizing women half his age. Maverick's latest assignment is to be a trainer for the country's best combat pilots for their next mission. And Maverick sort of has a very unorthodox type of way of teaching and it's actually quite enjoyable. You can relate to his struggle as a trainer as well as the ghosts of his past. The movie subtly reminds you of the events from the first movie and relies on a nostalgic factor. But hey, I'm not going to be too critical since the last movie did come out 36 years ago. Now, John Hamm's character was a nice surprise for me as he may be the only man who can stand up to Cruz and make it believable. He plays a no-nonsense commander who is able to command Maverick simply because he outranks him and Maverick has no other option but to obey his orders. Sort of. I found the supporting crew to be generic and at the end of the day, they were not memorable like some of the previous characters from this franchise. The audience is quickly able to decipher the nice guys from the jerks. Finally, without getting into spoilers, I want to give credit to the Top Gun team on how well they handled the Val Kilmer's character Iceman in this movie. I was actually impressed with the care and respect the iconic Iceman got because many people tend to forget that he was the best Top Gun pilot, not Maverick. So let's get real. We live in an age where films consistently overuse CGI to the point where it's noticeable. Top Gun Maverick provides a refreshing take where it focuses on practical effects mixed in with just the right amount of CGI to produce one of the year's best action films, if not the best. Only slow parts in this movie are when Tom Cruise is dealing with his love interest, but those parts are heavily outweighed by the great action sequences and the iconic Top Gun score, which makes me feel so patriotic for America that I think they should consider changing it to their national anthem. So listen, if you like modern aviation combat movies sprinkled in with the shirtless buff guys playing football, then this is the movie for you. And even if you don't, make sure you watch this movie in IMAX, the way it's meant to be seen. Well, those are my thoughts on Top Gun Maverick. If you enjoyed this review, hit that like and subscribe button down below. Your support will help my channel grow. See you next time on Rob Gets Real. Peace.